Hey everybody, welcome in for another episode. We're going to do a little bit differently. We're going to do a buzz. Okay, so we have our buildings here. They have the medium assemb uh, assembler on them. And then they also have a behavioral control unit. I'm going to do this without using anything in here. Everything's going to be on the behavior. But when you start out, you're going to be using these. So the easiest way to do it is here, here. Set here what you want to make, right? That's the easy way to do it. However, in here, what it's going to be is you're going to figure out what you want. So you're going to have a uh, parameter of item, limit, and amount. I have it on all of them because I just copied this over from the other one. And then I just made each one a different thing here. So the first one, we are going to... Um, where is that? Get ingredients. Okay. So we need to get the ingredients for whatever it is that we're trying to make, right? Then that's going to give us output A, B, and C. Now we need to request those items. So one, two, and three. Here's the thing. If there's nothing for it to request, it's going to most likely get hung up. Nope, no, we're going to do B, and then C. And then we're going to wait, just like normal. All the waiting. And this is pretty much the generic. You want to make this item, you're going to do it. Now, you can also add in here to copy. Whatever is in one to your visual. Okay, so if I turn around and I say, I want to make, what are we going to do? Light turrets. Okay, light turrets. We want to make light turrets. Boom. It now sets that there. And now it's going to go through. However, it's just go skipping right through them all. See how that is? It just skips through all of them. So now we need to figure out what's going on here. Okay. Because it's requesting the items, but then it's canceling the other requests. So, we're going to stop this. Now we're going to request item and wait. Okay. We're going to request item and wait. Then we're going to request and wait for B. And then we're going to request and wait C. We're going to cancel. Now, when it does it, it's going to request the first thing. Wait until all that gets there. Then it's going to request the second thing. And then it's going to request the third thing. Okay? So that's how that one's going to go. This does not have an auto off and on. Now we, is when we're going to get into there. So now we're going to check faction. Faction amount and global. And we want to see how many of item we have in the entire faction. Okay. We're just going to go like this. We're going to put this there. And it's just going to give us an idea of item. Let's go ahead and do something that I know we have some of. We're going to choose that. I have five of them. Okay. There's five of these in there. So if we want to do a limit of four. Okay. That's going to be how many we have. Okay, so right now it's just running this. So now we need to compare the number. Okay, so we want to compare what is an A. Okay, so we're going to do air and we're going to compare that to the limit. Okay, this is now going to give us either it's equal, larger, or smaller. Copy for each one. So we already know it's going to be larger. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try larger. Okay. And that's going to give us value of A, and we're going to send that up to 4 as well. Okay. There. It's given us that now, because it's just running through. Now, if we remove this, and I put this down here, and I do another copy... And I set this to go up to here as well. Now it clears it. 
But now if I change this to five, it comes back. Because now it's running over here because it's the equal amount, right? So let's go ahead and change this and we're going to make it do some things with these different things. So we are going to shut down if we're larger than our main amount. Reason we want to shut down is if we have more than what we have, then we want to. It's going to can still take from here if this is online. If this is offline, it's not going to take from there anymore. Okay. If it's equal to, we're going to turn on for it. Okay. So we're going to turn on so it can take from here. Okay. So if there's five, it will turn back on so it's able to take from here. Now, if it's less, we need to subtract. Actually, no, we're not going to do that one yet. We're going to set the set component. I want you to be down. I don't want you up there. I want you down here. Thank you. We're going to set the component. And I also need to, I forgot I need to do that here too. Set that, yes. Set that, yes. And we're going to set that to our P1. Actually, we need to first, we need to set number of it first. Take this one over there. Come on. Second component goes over there. So we want B1 to 1. That's going to give us A and then A. Okay. Now, we have it set to 5, right? So we're going to start it. It's just running and it's saying we have that many of them. Now, if we change this to 6, now it's going to request in the items that we need for that. Okay, so it's going to request everything in. It's going to request in one circuit board. That one circuit board is going to come over. It's going to turn it on. It's going to make that one circuit board. And then it stops. It cleared it. Because it came over here and it set the component to nothing. So it's not going to make anything anymore. Now we turn it down one. Now it shut off. So now we're not going to take this out of this inventory. It's not going to come out because it's turned off. So that's how you do your first two stages of this. Okay. That's how all of this works. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to get into the version three. So we're going to start out just like we did before. We're going to check the action amount of this. That's going to give us A. Okay. Oop. I actually forgot something on this one. On here, if there's none, you automatically want it to go to the smaller. Otherwise, it'll just stay right here because it won't do anything because you don't tell it to do anything. Okay. Just automatically have it run. Come back over here. So we're going to check the action amount. Okay. We're going to compare the number. Also bring that one up. We're going to compare A to the limit that we want. We're going to turn on the component. And I also want to make sure that I do that for the smaller too. Shut down. I'm going to just put that one in right away. Anyway, that's taken care of. We're going to set opponent on this one. Oh, we need this. We need set the component. Component's going to be here. Then we're going to put this one there just for just because I can put things in the place of it and I don't want to have to search for it again. Now is where it changes. Okay, we're going to do math. We're going to do subtract. Okay, we're going to subtract the amount 
from the limit. That's going to give us A. Actually, no, I want B. I want B for this one because I already got A. So we're going to do B. That's going to say, I want to make this many. So it's going to set the component to do that. And it's going to request in all the materials needed for that. So every material that's needed for that amount will then be requested. Okay. So let's do something. I don't know if I have any of these. On this one, which one is it? You know what? Medium blight containers. I don't think I have any of these getting made. Let's do that. Medium blight containers. And that takes two items. So that means we're going to have a limit of two of these. And the component is going to be in an assembler. So we're going to set that. We got the assembler. And we're going to play. Ooh, something's not going right here. Set component. Component is in four, so that should be setting that. Ooh, no, I totally forgot. There we go. Set number. That's what I want. I want to set one to B. That will give me C, and then C is what I want to set to there. There we go. There we go. Now it's going to set that, and it's going to request all of the materials. Wow, I can't believe that I totally missed on set number. Yep. So now it's going to request in all of those items that it's needed. So it's going to request eight and that. It only takes four and four. So now it's requested in everything, so I can make both of them. Then it'll just clear it off the component list. That's going to get going. Do, 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 do. There we go. And now it has four left and it only needs one more limit. And then the amount, I don't even have it coming up for the amount. Didn't even set that one up on there. And now it's going to make the second one and then it's going to stop requesting things and it's going to clear this out. There. Now again, copy right in the beginning. We want to actually set number. We're going to turn this to there, and then we're going to set that to D, and then value of D, and then we're going to set this to a visual. What that's going to do is turn around and give us our visual. Our visual is now going to be that. That's going to tell us how many we have in stock at all times. Now it's going over here and it's clearing this. Now I turn around and I move this down one more. It turned off now. Now it's going to the off. I turn it back up. Turns back on. Now it can be taken from here again. That is the power of this. Yes. So I hope you guys, I hope this was informative to you. One. Because I'm trying to make these informative. I'm trying to make it so we can figure out what things do. Like set number, the resource, and the amount. I used it in two different ways here. One, to set how many resources are needed. One, to, sit, to change it so our visual is unlimited. The faction items, so you can see how many items you have in inventory at any given time. Comparing what each one of them does. The turning on and turning off setting your component now with the setting of a component if you set this component and you don't unset it over here this set will stay it will stay on there so it'll just continuously request the resources if you don't have it off of there that's why you have to make sure you set the value to zero for that for it to clear it out of there if you don't it will not do it it will continue continue to do that okay so please remember clear your components and i hope you guys like this one thank you so much for tuning in and we will see you on the next one